What's up guys? Today we're bringing you some domination on bootleg. So, uh, as you can probably already tell, working on some uh, different weapons, play around with some different classes. Um, you know, I'm still talking about weapons first, there's a few things I want to talk about. Uh, for starters, I mean, number one, it's, it's obviously, like I've, I've mentioned before, it, it takes a while to level up all of these weapons. Um, and I think that that's, you know, obviously discourages somebody like myself who, not that I don't necessarily have the time, but I don't care to put it in to level up each and every single one of these weapons. Uh, realistically, I feel like most of them um, are pretty similar to one another. Um, there's a few exceptions that have, you know, that weapons that are much more powerful than one another. Um, but I really feel like, say, when you're using most of the, uh, the SMGs, that you know, if you're running rapid fire with any of them, I mean, you're going to be doing reasonably well. Um, I think that the biggest hurdle to overcome, you know, in any match, more so than using a gun, is uh, is basically the lag. If you can find a decent connection, I really don't think that it matters what gun you're using. Um, this is one of the weaker guns. I feel like I'm using. God, these things are just amazing. Um, I feel like this is one of the weaker guns. Uh, what is this? The MP7. Um, you know, it takes a while gunning them down long range, uh, even close range. It's not that amazing, but like I said, if you, if you have decent ping, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, the MP9 I think is probably worse, but at the same time, like, uh, I got that guy. But at the same time, like I said, it, it really doesn't matter. You will lose out though, like the kills that you won't be grabbing. Like if you're going up against somebody with an FMG, I mean, you're probably gonna die. If you're going up against somebody with a striker with the proper attachments, mods, whatever you want to call them, you are going to die. Um, so, you know, those things, if those things are there, I mean, there's there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, which is, you know, kind of a bummer. Really surprised that I killed that guy. I mean, how often does somebody surprise you, go prone, you pull out your kill streak, and then you still manage to kill him? I can only imagine how slow he must be on his end not to, not to win out in that fight. Um, the reason why I also, um, to sort of go off on a bit of a tangent, um, the reason why I wanted to show you guys this round as well is to, um, I thought this would be a great example of how it's possible to basically start doing really well and then go from doing, you know, more or less well to getting your shit pushed in. So as you can see, we've got two flags and, um, you know, not make a real hard push for, for A, uh, you know, let's just... You know, like I've, I've talked about before, there's not there's not much that you can do, um, you know, especially running solo style, uh, pushing on any of these flags because of the instant respawn and how long it takes to uh, to cap them. I think I'm going to try that here briefly, maybe not. Um, not to mention that it even, you know, in addition to all the other crap that happens, like it actually announces to their team that you're taking the flag. So, um, you know, it's just all the more reason not to try to solo cap flags and um, there you go basically eating my own words where it worked um, but it, it just really encourages people not to solo cap flags and instead to uh, to do things like you know camp basically so here I have and I don't know how many kills I have but I've restarted my my kill streaks over again this is predator missile times two um, unfortunately this guy has just died jerk teammates taking my kills um, you know, I I played quite a bit earlier tonight, and uh, you know, I, I think I've had some interesting realizations about this game. Um, and the more you play it, obviously, of course, the more insight you have into it. Um, I feel like the more I play it, the more I realize, you know, what it takes to do to do well in this game, and uh, the less the less desire I have to actually play like that and, and to do well. Um, I don't want to go on this. Uh, take this into too much detail because it's going to bleed into the, uh, the down the rabbit hole video that I do on basically proposed changes and ideas for um, different uh, uh, different ways to basically approach this game uh, to diminish I feel like to sort of make everybody happy but at the same time um, you know diminish some of the randomness and, and promote more consistency um, but you know, like the best way to play this—I should say the best way to play this game—but if you want to get a great KD, um, and you know, there's nothing. Even if you changed around a whole 
even if you didn't do things, I mean, a lot of guys are like, well, what about stat tracking and things like that? Um, even if you changed around things like, say, stat tracking, and you no longer, say, displayed KD at all, which I don't think really changed much. Um, you know, there's, it still seems goofy for somebody to not want to, uh, to not want to do, to not want to do well KD wise. Like it doesn't make any sense. Um, so like I said, I think there needs to be more of a change than simply just uh, not stat tracking KD. But I definitely wouldn't hurt to do things, you know, like put in uh, on the scoreboard, especially on domination, like how many flags you've capped and stuff like that. Um, and there definitely goes a lot more into detail. Like I said, I'll expand on all of this in the, the second down the rabbit hole video that I'll hopefully do here in a few days. Um, and, uh, you know, not that Infinity Ward is necessarily going to take notice or anything like that, but... Uh, it would be fantastic if they did. I don't know. They, you know, like I, I've said, it's the, the first game that came out, the first COD game that came out. Not the first COD game. I think COD four was when they took off in a different direction, um, and it started catering to sort of that uh, more general audience. Um, and I don't know. I kind of felt a little bit laggy. I don't know. Oh, I'm running a two bar. <laughs> no wonder. Um, I don't know if. Um, you know, it was intentional back when COD4 came out if they were like, look guys, we're gonna, you know, level the playing field and create a whole bunch of, um, whatchamacallit, skill equalizers and, you know, hopefully draw in a much wider audience and bring the people back that, you know, don't want to compete with great players. I don't know that necessarily that was their intentions, but I think that that is something that they have definitely realized since then. Um, what did I do there? I think I shot... Oh, hmm. Just wasn't fast enough. When you see two guys like that, I mean, the best thing to do would probably have been for me, well, to just stay back and hang back, to be honest. But if I really wanted to kill those guys, probably just run and jump down and start shooting behind their backs. But you never know if there's going to be more guys down there, and it's it's so easy to get guys respawning instantly. Um, you know, that's one of the other issues, basically, with this game, is that, uh, you know, if you want to win, want to win domination, um, one of the ways that basically you would cap points, say if you're playing a conquest style game like Battlefield, is you because they have a respawn delay, you can you know kill guys and push them back, and then you know once you basically uh, you know kill everybody surrounding that flag, then you can push in and you can count on basically having this buffer window to take that flag of having you know a couple seconds before they start running back in. Um, that's something that you definitely can't count on here. There's a classic case of not trying a solo cap. You can't count on that here, and as often as the case, what I'm starting to pay attention to tonight is it's all too common to be getting respawn killed by oftentimes the same guys that you've just killed. And, you know, I don't really understand some of the mechanics. I think people are talking about issues such as, um, you know, things like revenge spawns versus immunity spawns and things like that. And, I don't really know how they've done their spawns. I don't know if it's been explained at all. I'm sure there's more information out there. Somebody might know more than me. But um, it definitely feels like when you're spawning in in this game, for better or for worse, um, you know, when you spawn back in, uh, you're very, very, very close to enemies. And, you know, I've, I've spawned back in and, you know, turned around and shot guys right in the back. And it's, you know, it's pretty goofy. Um, there's really no skill in that. You're like, oh, yeah, you get a free kill, I guess. Um, and then I've also respawned in, you know, and just walked around the corner and died instantly because an enemy is right there. And I think the game is, is if, if it is doing that, those certain type of spawns where, like, the respawns, uh, revenge respawns, then, um, well, basically, uh, it can't work in your favor and it can also not. Um, but anyway, uh, back to the whole message of this sort of particular episode. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, sort of did well in the beginning, doing, you know, doing a little bit better here towards the end. Um, trying to get up and push this point, but I've been punished for it several times. Um, but, uh, you know, I feel like this is a fairly classic COD game where, you know, it's possible to do really well as far as, you know, like say KD goes, and you just sort of go on a string of deaths that you may or may not have any control over. Um, you know, it wasn't like I had Predator missiles raining on my head or anything like that, but, you know, once again, if, like I said, it's just, it's all about playing aggressively. Um, and, you know, should probably be playing more defensively. 
Um, Yay. Jason Kim is announcing his own score in this game. 7 and 23. So the other guys on my team, not terrible. Uh, guys on the other side, horrific. And that's what it takes in order to get the win. Sad. But uh, anyways, as usual, questions, comments,